Breathing is a beautiful sound. It's a sound that, maybe, we take for granted. Why? Why did he do it? I know you said God has a plan, that he knows what's best, but why did he take her? She was my best friend. Why? I often wonder if I'll ever feel the same again, like, if I'll ever feel how I did before, before all this. I know you keep telling me to communicate with God so I can receive peace and answers, but when I try to, I hear nothing. I feel nothing. Well, I better let you go. Thanks for listening. I love you. I don't want to say goodbye. I... Every time I say goodbye to someone, I have this fear that it'll be the last time. So, so I, I guess I'll, I'll say see you later.
Mom, Mom, God spoke to me. It was all of a sudden. He told me to write. To write about it all. The frustration, the confusion, the pain, the beautiful memories. He told me he would help me through it all. I've already started writing, so I better get back to it, but I just wanted to share. Thank you so much. I love you. Goodbye. I will see you later. Though the pain may never leave, hope will rise above it. I have learned a valuable truth. Life is a precious gift and we must use it well. Within each gift box that holds a life, there is a light. When all the rest of life's gift is taken away by death, the light does not dim, nor does it sputter out. It remains, shining brightly through memories, through love, and through impact. We are endless beings with a great purpose. My dear friend may be gone, but I hold her light in my heart and it's glowing, golden and warm, ever so bright. When I see her again, I will thank her for allowing me the honor of carrying her light, of knowing who she was and who she is. God will not allow the anguish to last forever. One day he will give us joy that will flow endlessly. Endless, endless.